What's up YouTube community? This is Tom. I'm back uh, to deal with this issue for the second take. The first time I had tried to uh, congeal the topic of alcohol and government together it didn't turn out too good, so I'm separating them. I'm going to do the, uh, the issue of government uh, right now by itself. It should be a couple different videos. Um, uh, the smaller and more condensed I can get it, the better. Okay, I'll start this off with this idea of uh, this uh, quote that I got in a conversation a long time ago where this uh, guy said, uh, you know, get your God out of my backyard was essentially what he was saying, which is kind of a revised uh, notion of the separation of church and state idea. And I have to say that this was not a very well thought out idea because uh, if this person doesn't believe in a God, then why are they so adamant about getting this supposed, you know, figment out of their lives? I mean, it's not okay for a person to claim that another person cannot use their worldview in political affairs. Because after all, it's just going to be one worldview versus another. Okay? That's all we're left with. So whether or not our reasons for wanting certain political ideas enforced has to do with a, quote, God, is irrelevant to the case and issue here. Everybody's religion influenced their ideas in the political arena anyway. You cannot help it. This is unavoidable. Alright, folks? It's... Somebody's religion is going to be involved in the state, okay? And it's just a matter of whose it's going to be. That's the only question that remains. Everyone is unavoidably religious. Even if you follow the religion of atheism. And I know tons of people are going to be uh, objecting and, and uh, ranting over that one. And I've had to address it several times, so I'll address it again. Uh, I feel like a broken record, but sometimes the arguments need to be repeated until people start to uh, understand or at least uh, accept the fact. And that's what needs to be done here. A little bit uh, uh, of denial needs to go out the door. Um, religion addresses, when you boil it all down, damn phone calls. I'll be right back. Hello. Yeah, th th that'll be fine. That'll work. Alright, bye. Religion, once you boil it all down, once you get to the bare root essentials, is uh, your beliefs concerning where we have come from, our origins, be it from the, you know, beginning particles through the, you know, the goo that went through the zoo and ended up with you, you know, that uh, we were created by a, a god, um, you know, that's the origins, the destiny of where we are going when we die. Um, is it just going to be to the ground, be eaten up by worms? you know, be a, uh, the buffet line for them, or are we going to be reincarnated, or are we going to go to heaven or hell, or purgatory, uh, or any of the other alternatives that people have come up with. And then, not just the beginning and the ending, but all the in-between of uh, how we should behave, morals, uh, who we are as individuals, do we have inherent value or worth or not. Um, and everybody has a viewpoint concerning those things in relation to a god, monotheism, uh, gods, polytheism, or no god at all, atheism. And everyone, every last person on this planet has a view concerning those things. Now you may affirm the Christian position or deny it, or, or affirm or deny the Hindu position, or affirm or deny the... It doesn't matter. The point is, is that you have come to a position on those things. Um, even if you kind of are, at this point in time, pulling the shoulder shrug. At least it's a, it's a position of uh, unassuredness, which is, I, you know, call the, uh, the bluff in many cases with agnostics. I've not found any really true hardball agnostics. They're either leaning towards deism or atheism, or more of their atheistic agnostics or deistic agnostics. Uh, people don't tend to be true fence-sitters for very long because, uh, concerning these issues that matter uh, quite a bit because people uh, want to figure things out, they want to delve in. Um, but, but in any such case, uh, they have come to viewpoints on many of those things. If they have not, uh, even if they haven't come to a conclusion for 100% sure on every issue, like maybe the, the nature of God or the nature of humanity, etc., they have uh, at least a considered the other things. And so, you know, I mean, if you have a problem with the term uh, religious or identifying yourself as such uh, because of some sort of socially connotated taboo uh, or 
uh, something like that, fine. We can just as easily say that I follow the philosophy of Christianity, you know, if one wants to play that game. But I don't have a problem with calling myself religious, and neither should you. Um, what is sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander, okay? And so, I'm uh, getting back to the other thing. Is, uh, I need to set the record straight here with this idea of, quote, separation of church and state. That is found nowhere in the Constitution, okay, folks? Uh, this whole bit came from a letter Thomas Jefferson wrote to the Danbury Baptists to declare that there could not be one nationally acclaimed denomination. All right, that's a little bit different. Um, also, it was to assure freedom for religion, not freedom from religion. And uh, lastly, this whole document was to um, keep the church from forcing other people to go to church uh, or, or forcing them to pay a tithe, etc. That's all he was saying. That's all that was uh, being discussed there. The First Amendment is what allows all religious affiliates to live on this land peaceably without any persecution like you'd see within um, different uh, Islamic turf with the Sharia law where Christians can be killed or heavily taxed with the, what they call the jizya tax unless they're converted. I mean, America was founded as a Christian nation. Well, I wouldn't want to say Christian necessarily. Heavily uh, were the ingredients uh, of Christian influence. Um, we'll just put it that way. And if anyone wants to deny this, they're just uh, they're living a, a fantasy. Uh, now, I know that there were many deists involved, but the, the fact still remains. Um, but we're definitely not a Christian nation today, so let's not be deceived on the other end either. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> you know, and still, um, Christianity has some influence as such, uh, but it is really just waned and tapered off significantly uh, in our, our day and age. And, you know, I find it funny how humanists are crying out about <laughs> the conservative influence. It's getting stronger and it's taking over. You know, but th that couldn't be farther from the truth, man. Uh, just look around, take a history course, and you'll see how it's been pushed aside by a minority. Minority. It's con counter to the democratic uh, ideological, uh, ideological uh, system. I mean, even in the past 30 years, let alone the last 100 years since America's beginning, even, <laughs> we have seen a major, major, major decline in Christianity's influence on America. In fact, humanism has had a major influence on even the quote church of today you know they're not even the the people that go into the church buildings and, and call themselves a part of the christian church are in large part sadly to say not even a part of the real church as the bible defines and that they are regenerated individuals uh transformed made anew by the holy spirit okay so a lot of times when i get people uh, this is side trail but us uh, people arguing about all these people doing bad things in the, in the name uh, that are Christians. I'm like, dude, were they following Christ's mandates? At best, they are just disobedient Christians, in which case you can't really lay blame at Christ's door or the, the blame of the religious system, but rather at the individual who went in contradiction to his system or the individual who is not even really uh, legitimately able to call himself a member of the, the Christian tradition simply because one wants to go under the banner of a title doesn't make one, you know, a person actually in accords with. I mean, I could say that I'm a PETA member and eat burgers every day, they're going to excommunicate me, alright? So really, a person who goes and does whatever they want instead of whatever Christ commands shows that they are taking on a relativistic mindset and moral compass, which is what the atheists uh, only have to, to go on, which is, by the way, self-contradictory, but nevertheless, they are doing what they want. And so really, I could more... That's your kind. You pointed at saying that these Christians are doing all these bad things. That's your kind, Mr. Atheist. Not mine, just simply because he wants to, you know, de uh, deceive him himself in thinking he's a Christian. You know, and, and all these shysters out there on the, the uh, tele-evangelist uh, networks, for all you know, it would be, it seemed pretty smart of the atheist to be an opportunist to pretend like he's a Christian, also he can sucker some foolish sheep out of their, their uh, wallet's goods. Uh, you know, I, I, I would bet, I would wager uh, to say that many of those people are uh, not necessarily atheists, but just unbelievers, uh, taking advantage of an opportunity. But I, I have to get off that. I'm, I'm side railing.